What is up, YouTubers? I thought it'd be fun to show you all the Hot Wheels Redline Club exclusives I collected to date. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Here's my newest Hot Wheels Redline Club exclusive, the 1962 Ford F100. Just got this. The pink flame is awesome. It's obviously the Spectra Flame paint. Engine block, chrome bumper, white top, LA 23 license plate, chrome bottom. And I don't know if this will come through the camera, but right there, the four, that's like a hologram right there. Of course, there's the other side. This is very cool. I don't have many uh, truck uh, Redline Club exclusive, so this is my first one, I believe. This is my second newest RLC, the 1969 Dodge Charger RT, yellow Spectre Flame paint. Cool vintage wheels. Nice front. Driver's side. License plate says heli. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I really like this. Obviously, I don't think this was a factory color, but cars like this, the more outrageous the paint job, the more it sticks out. Um, I feel the better they look. So this was uh, this was very cool. So I'm not a big muscle car guy, but once I saw it, I figured I'd pick it up. The 1969 Chevy Camaro SS. This might be my favorite body style of muscle cars. I don't know if it's not the most. It's it's definitely up there. Looks really good. Of course, the engine block. The license plate says SXX79, I believe. Um, driver's side, Camaro SS, so th they did a great job on this one, um, really like it. The 1993 Ford Mustang Cobra R, not a fan of the Fox body body style, but they did a good job on this one. Now this is a Cobra, so that is, is pretty sweet, um, you can tell by the little logo there, um, Front, driver's side, rear. So it says RLC23. And it came with with this on it. It's attached. Mattel's hot, Mattel Hot Wheels. It's got the Cobra. And with this patch. So that's pretty cool. Matches the car too. But uh, it says here on the back, um... Ford first used the Cobra name with the Mustang in the 1970s, but it wasn't until 1993 when Ford's SVT brought it back with a vengeance. I didn't know that. It's kind of a fun little fun fact. I assume there was a break from the 70s to 93, but anyway, any any uh, Cobras uh, I can definitely respect. Mm -hmm. The Volkswagen T1 Rockstar. Now this thing is awesome. I mean, look at that. Look at the, the shocks. Um, the wheels, the silver wheels, I kind of wish they had black ones. And they weren't the five star or different style, but I mean this thing is still awesome. Um, the purple Spectre Flame paint is incredible. There's the scoop right there. That's pretty cool. Um, the front bumper, see how it kind of goes up. Those for real off roading, the reason it's like that because if they go down a hill and incline, it'll stop it from smashing the front. Um, so that's why that that bumper sticks out. If anybody's wondering, on the back it says uh, Rock Star. It's got the extra, extra wheel. Um, of course, there's the driver's side. But this thing is sick. I love this. This this might be my favorite RLC I have, if not one of them. And I'm not real big on fantasy stuff. And I don't. Maybe this is a custom one or something. I don't know. But this thing is awesome. I do like the black base uh, instead of chrome. So, but this thing is incredible. They did a great job on this. Imagine driving this thing around. Here's the big boy, the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. I actually thought about not getting this at first because of the pink. I just wasn't a fan of it, but being an R34, I knew I had to get it. Um, it's got the white wheels, obviously, the white strip on the bottom, pink Spectra Flame paint, an awesome front end, white hood, kind of breaks up the, the color. Um, 
rear end, which says RLC Pink. I love the spoiler in the rear end on the R34s. It just looks so good. Um, there's the driver's side. This thing has definitely gone up in value. As of this video, I think retail, this was like 28 bucks, and I'm sure with shipping, it was in the 30s, somewhere around there. Um, but I think they're selling on the secondary market for like 100 right now, so... Pretty much if there's ever an R34 or a Skyline, it's always a good idea to get it. Obviously, if you just like them anyway, and they're awesome cars, but even for resale, if if you want to flip them or something, because they pretty much always go up in value. But yeah, that, thing is, that thing's pretty awesome. Here are the boxed RLCs, I'll call them. The first one's the Chevy 1975 Monte Carlo. I do like the packaging. Fits the car. That gives, like, the history. I won't read that to you, but it just reads the history on the back. But look at that. Let me open that up. All right, let's open her up. I mean, the paint on these lowriders are just always phenomenal. Uh, look at the detail they put into that. Front end. And then check out these wheels. Like, you can move them all types of ways the hydraulics and you have it like this like uh, ice cube says take a sip of the potion hit the three wheel motion that's all i think of when i see this but i mean this is awesome like you can adjust this however you want um and it seems pretty solid like sometimes stuff like that's cheap and it can break but yeah they did a great job on this this is super cool definitely unique so glad i got this this is the JDM, the Hot Wheels Custom Datsun 240Z. Kind of have the racing stripes on the box. And the nice packaging. Let's open her up. They did a great job on this. The silver wouldn't have been my choice for the body, but it does look very good. As well as those, those black wheels look amazing. I love the th the th slim five spoke tires. Um, of course, the hood comes up. I'll show you the engine block. It's really detailed. Look at that. It says XO XO on the back, and then if you can see in there, it says Datsun on the engine block. But super detailed. I like right there. Says, uh, well, you guys can see it's hard for me to see through the camera, but anyway, that thing is super cool. I love the uh, uh mirrors, that would, which would be, be normally up there, but on the JDMs, it's a kind of a style to put them down there. It looks super good, but this thing is very well done. This is pretty recent the 91 BMW M3. Big Hot Wheels logo. And look at this. This red paint is amazing. I love the wheels. Those remind me of, of the BBS wheels. I don't know what they exactly are, but back says MMM3. My brother had an M3 and he took it to the mechanic and he said uh, it stands for M3 stands for money times three. So this would be money, money, money times three. Um, but this, uh, body style these are very pricey now they're very valuable um classic design so and i believe these doors open i just i don't have long enough fingernails and i i have to go downstairs to get like a screwdriver to open it up and uh, i just don't feel like doing it but i do believe the doors open um but yeah this is a great cask i definitely recommend anyone uh to get this the tomaso mangusta from 71 i'm probably saying that wrong Look at that green. Look at this. This green paint is amazing. I do like the wheels. It's the old school type style. Black hood. Motul 23. It says Goose. 
don't really know what that means, but besides Top Gun. Uh, but look at that engine block in there. And these are very stable. Um, I know some RLCs, their stuff doesn't s stay up or whatever, but, well, I guess there is actually a gap there. Let's see. Not as bad on that side. Um, but yeah, they they stay up very well. Uh, I believe it's made to be displayed up. Uh, that's how it comes in the box, but very cool. Jaguar 64 E-Type. Dark green box. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, wow. It's like a hunter green. This was not bolted down to the black base, so... I can show you it freed. Yeah, this is another classic body style. RLC type license plate. There's the chrome engine block. Hood goes down, let's see what the gaps are like. Eh, could be more flush, but very cool car. I always think of the Hunter Greens with these Jaguars. So, again, the um, side mirrors down here, unlike the Japanese ones, are normally over the wheel, but these are these are right there. But looks good. You got the Benzito Mercedes. 55300 SL. This, unlike the others, has a Mercedes logo bigger than the Hot Wheels on top. Oh, it's like the handle. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Look at this thing. This is awesome. How about a classic automotive design? I mean, this was in the 50s, and it's still awesome. Gold wing doors. I don't know if you guys can see. There's the interior. Let's see if... Flush check. Oh. That's actually, that actually might be the best one yet. Big logo on the front. We have two Lamborghini Countaches. This is the first one. Kind of the marble Hot Wheels logo. Look at that green. 82 Countach OP500S. Boom. Look at that. Doors up. I don't know how I feel about the black over the fenders in the quarter panel. Um, the flares. Um, I mean, it does look pretty cool. I kind of wish they would have done it all. The green Spectre Flame. You can see inside it. I think that says Spec 500. Uh, let's see the flush check. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, I can't complain on that one. Let's see on this side. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Come on, Hot Wheels. These are special ones, man. Got to get a little better than that. But I do like the wheels. I like the five spoke. Those are nice. Here is Lambo Countach number two. It's the blue version. Look at that blue shine, how it reflects off the light. Do you like the wheels? Same uh, style as the green one, just just different colors. This has the white interior. See the white doors, the interior trim. Um, it says Toro Boulevard or something on the steering. Not steering wheel, but the license plate. Um, all right, let's do the fifth flush check. Hmm. Could be better. That's driver's side. Oh, 
Oh man, that's wow. That's bad. Heck, if I don't know this, I would have returned it. Oh well. But uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, yeah, let me compare these two. Let me get the other one. Okay, which one do you guys like better? The green and black, or the blue and I guess gray wheels. Man, that that door on the blue one's gonna drive me crazy. Good thing I don't play it with the doors up, so it doesn't matter, but I don't know. I think I'm kind of leaning more towards the blue one. If you like this video, guys, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, help me out with the algorithm. Let me know if you like it or not. But here's an honorable mention. This is Kyosho. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. My favorite car of all time. It is the McLaren F1. But look at all these different models they have on there. So particularly if they have like the regular McLaren and like the GTRs, um, Aston Martins, everything. But let's open this up and show you what's in it. Look at this. It comes in this plastic container. This will slide off. Let me let me take it out for you. Wow, look at this. The detail on this is crazy. Definitely beats the RLCs, in my opinion. It doesn't have the Spectre Flame paint job, but, I mean, it isn't supposed to. This is supposed to be, you know, a 1-1 model of a McLaren F1. Um, nothing opens on it. Uh, no doors open or anything like that. But this thing is phenomenal. And it's so small. I mean, look at the... Actually, I think the Hot Wheels... Might be bigger. I don't know, but the McLaren F1 is so small anyway. It might be the same scale. It's just smaller than these other ones. But, yeah, look at that. I actually saw one of these at a McLaren meet in uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It was, uh, I pulled up the gas station. There was a McLaren P1 and an F1. The guy was getting gas. And uh, I'm sure you guys know that the uh, driver's seat is in the middle. As you can see, hopefully that comes up in camera. Um, most recent ones sold for about 20 mil. Um, these are super limited and in my opinion, the best car ever made.